Happy Chinese Class， 快乐汉语小课堂。Hello everyone， I'm Lily Huang， 我是黄老师。In this video， we will learn directional complements. First， let's take a look at some directional words. 进、出、上、下、回、过、起。These words have some inherent direction of the movements implied, namely in, out, up, down, back, crossover, up. They are usually used with lai to come and qu to go to form the basic structure of directional complements. Lai implies the movement toward the speaker. For instance, if you want your dog to come closer to you, you can say, lai lai lai. Chu, on the contrary, indicates a movement away from the place where the speaker is. So, if you want your dog to go away, you can say chu chu chu. When directional words are used with lai or chu, it can not only tell us the direction of the action, but also inform us whether the direction of the action is moving away from speaker or moving closer to the speaker. Let's take a look at some examples. 进来，进来 ，come in. In this example, the host is inside the room. He would like the guest to come into the house, so he first said 进 which means to enter. At the same time, he would like the guest to move toward him and come inside, so he adds 来 after 进 On the contrary, if the host and the guest are both standing outside the house. And the host would like the guest to go into the house. What should the host say? Well, he should say 进去 So the direction word is the same, 进 to enter. But the host is outside the house, and he would like the guest to move away from him and go into the house. So he says 进去 instead of 进来懂了吗 Now let's look at some examples from the TV drama. 老大，哎，天南，上来吧。In this video clip, the speaker sitting on the second floor greeted to the lady standing downstairs. 上来吧 ，because she wanted the lady on the lower floor to go to the second floor and move toward her direction. Now let's take a look at the second video. 出去。In this video clip, the teacher asked the female student to leave the classroom because the student kept talking on the phone during the class time. So the teacher said, 你出去 get out of the classroom. Since the teacher is inside the classroom, he used 去 to indicate the direction of the movement should be away from him. Please note that this structure can also be used with the location word, and the location word should be placed between the verb and 来 or 去 For example, 进屋来，进屋去 come into the house, or go into the house. 上楼来，上楼去 come upstairs or go upstairs. 回中国来，回中国去 come back to China or go back to China. We can also use an action verb before the basic structure to provide more details of the movement. For example, when a speaker stands on the second floor, he wants the listener to walk upstairs. He can say, 走上楼来 walk upstairs. If he wants the listener to run upstairs, he can say, 跑上楼来 run upstairs. If he wants the listener to jump upstairs, he may say, 跳上楼来 jump upstairs. Okay, now it's time for you to practice. You are the speaker. What will you say in the following scenarios? Scenario one, you want him to walk upstairs. 走上楼来 Scenario two, it's very cold outside. 
you ask your friend to go into the room. 我们进屋去吧. Scenario three. It's very hot in the room, so ask your friend to come out. 出来吧. Scenario four. Your friend is late for school. Ask him to get up. 快起来吧. Okay, that's the end of today's lesson. 再见.